Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I've got with me today Bravo TV personality, fitness expert, Craig Ramsey. Hello! Hey, Hi, Tava, Sammy. Oh my god, I'm a little nervous. You should be. I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Wait a second, wait for it, wait for it. You ready? This is your gym today. Tava! We're going to be talking about a cool way to travel and work out with... Well, we're not only going to be talking about it, we're going to be doing it... With... A towel. A towel. You can do this in small spaces. You can do this while you're traveling. Yep. A you towel. can do it on a submarine. You can do it on a submarine like we are today. We're actually taking the submarine over to Europe right now, as oh, we speak. Oh, perfect. All right, so what do I do with this? Well, first off, can I just say you look gorgeous, as always. Thank you. But I love that you're giving me Hairspray Meets Chicago the Musical. Just pink pants. That's what I did. These are for you. I'm wearing these for you. <laughs> I love them. I feel like I should have I should have my sunglasses on. I love them. They're so bright. Well, we want to look good uh, to feel good, too. So yes. I always encourage people to, to dress appropriately in, in clothes that make them feel yeah. great. Yeah, it's fun. Like when you're wearing something fun, I feel like you work out a little better. You do? Yeah. Yeah. It feels good, Thomas. Yes, Samir. it does. She's going to show you today with three exercises that you can do with any towel. We have a long towel here. You could do this with a hand towel or, or even uh, a washcloth, for you goodness sakes. You can do sakes. this with a washcloth? Yes, because mm. what this towel is going to give us is full range of movement with our exercises. Oh, okay. And why is that important is because we want to make sure that we're, we're actually muscle fatiguing and stretching at the same time. Okay. So we can learn a lot from the dancer. And I'm a dancer. You have dance background. There she goes, gorgeous pirouette. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> dance, dance, Thomas. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do, three exercises. Okay. With the towel. We're going to start with the lower body mm -hmm. with a lunge exercise. Okay. You've done a lunge? Yes, I have. Yeah, we're going to do front stepping lunges and then bring it back to standing because, as you said, sometimes we're restricted with space. Right. Now, how do you hold this towel? Does it matter how wide it is or how narrow or, like, it's just... Good question. Yeah. So take it long. Yeah. And we're going to fold it in half, and that's how we're going to do it for this exercise. We have like a bath towel for this, so that's... Yeah, a little long. This would be a regular hand towel. Okay. Cool? Gotcha. So let me start by just demonstrating the lunge forward and back, and then we'll incorporate the towel, and I'll explain why that's beneficial. So a simple lunge forward, and then we kick it back to stand, and then we reverse to the other side. Would you like to do that with me? Yes, I would. Let's do Without that Without the part. towel. Without the towel, just hold on to it in the side. We come down and then kick back to stand. Perfect. So we do a couple of these just to warm up. Okay. Really feeling energy in our heel. You feel how there's more power when you kick it back? Yep. Great. Use the heel to kick back, right? Yep. This burns a lot of calories, lunges. It does. It's a very muscle fatiguing exercise that raises the heart rate and compromises the breath. Yeah, sure. Does. And okay, let's stop here. Okay. Now watch what I do to encourage full range of movement. I'm going to pass the towel from one hand to the other underneath my leg. Oh. So nice and slow, it gets a little swing motion. And pass. And why is and this pass. good? Because it encourages your fuller range of motion. It does, and it makes you aware of your posture and how you hold the upper body. Okay. So what, when you're passing the towel, if, if I'm straining and I'm leaning forward, you're going to be able to feel this pulling right against it. So we're not really, um, we're, we're just doing enough range of movement because this is still a lot for a lot of people. I gotcha. Okay. Should we try it? Mm-hmm. Let's okay. do it. So you hold with one hand, we lunge forward, and we toss it underneath. Nice. Good. Wow. That is... A little bit more intense. Right? Yeah. And because we have to stay down in that lunge to pass it, we're giving a split extra second there yes, to feel that contraction. I feel the burn. Nice. I feel the burn. I like that you say burn because what we're doing with this exercise is feeling the burn, not a pump. Yes, I feel the burn. Good. But it feels good. And take a second in between switching sides so that you can dig your heels down, bend the knees slightly, and stabilize yourself. Gotcha. Does that feel good? While you're standing, right? Gotcha. Yeah, that feels great. A minute on, uh, a minute here, a minute there throughout your day really adds up to success with this. It's crazy how that small little movement really makes a difference in how you feel it. Yeah. It's crazy. That pause at the bottom really does make a difference in the contraction and the intensity of yep. that contraction. And I felt it all the way along. When I stepped back, I felt it more in my 
My glute. Good. My butt. Do you want to show them your glutes? <laughs> there it is. That's where she feels it. I feel it right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Bad. I never even knew. Do you want to move on to another exercise? Let's yes. continue with the lower body with this one. And it's similar to the lunge, but this time it's not unilateral, meaning one leg and then the other. This one, similar to the lunge, it's going to be a lower body focus exercise. Um, but what I'm going to do is do both legs at the same time, not unilateral alternating legs. Okay. So we're going to do a squat. Okay. Yes. I love squats. We're going to do a dancer squat. So it's going to be slightly turned out in a wide second position or as some people refer to a sumo squat. Okay. Okay. How are sumo squats different than regular squats in terms of muscles that they target? Doing a, a wide squat, sumo squat, is going to engage more of the glutes and the connective muscles that engage the lower, the side, and the upper region of the glutes. So like this like crevice right here that women want to lift, that's what the sumo squat targets? It can, yes. Good, not, good to know. Yeah, in the positioning of the feet. So I oftentimes will tell people, give me a little fossey, give me a little parallel, and give me a little turnout so okay. that we give the whole glute a chance to uh, tighten up. So the position of your foot out, center, and in changes? Yes, it does. But okay. for this one, I want to focus on the outer region and with a slight turnout because okay. we're going to be engaging more of our inner and outer thighs with this one. Love it. Okay. Cool. Ready. We're going to bunch the, the towel together in the center. We have a wider than shoulder width stance with our legs, a slight turnout. Now watch me here. This is the regular squat without a towel toss. Okay. I come down, I open up my thighs, I really squeeze the glutes, especially at the top range of movement. My chest so you're is up. Squeezing as you're coming up. Yep, and my chest is up, my shoulders are pushed down away from the ears and back, elevating the chest. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Let's do two of those. Okay. Down and up. Ooh, nice. Don't forget to breathe during this. And this time, feel energy yeah. in the heels. Okay. Now watch how Stabilize your core Stabilize with the heels, right? And keep the core engaged, right? Exactly. Do another one for me. Feeling the heels. Good. Now oh, limit the range so of movement. Easier. You don't have to go down that far. I don't? There. Okay. And up. Perfect. Okay. Now, with a towel toss at the bottom range of movement, we're giving ourselves a chance to focus on the towel, which is distracting us from being in a seated squat. Oh, okay. So watch me. I hit down, I toss, I catch, and I come back up. I heard that Beyonce does 100 of these every morning when she wakes up. Well, the proof is in the booty, I the guess. The proof is in that booty, bootylicious. All right, let's do this. I come down in a squat, I stay there, I toss the towel up and I catch it and I come back up to stand. Did so that, that extra minute, down, that extra few seconds down there really does make you feel it in, more intense. And because you have to catch the towel, you're using your stabilizer muscles, your core, yeah. and where that goes. Yeah. Now, if that. it's way far away from you, don't, don't sweat it. Well, do sweat it. Yeah. But don't sweat it this time, and you can just go get the towel and then come back to your center. Gotcha. So don't let that throw you off. Should we, shall we do it? Yeah. Let's okay. Do. Down, toss, and catch. Oh, I feel that in my core. Down, toss. And everywhere else. And catch. And don't cheat yourself. Really throw that towel up nice and high. Down. I was cheating throw. myself. <laughs> and, up. and hey, if we're sweating, which we are, look it, yeah. it's perfect, we have a towel. Good? Let's go back to it. Down, toss, and catch. Down, toss, and catch. How do you feel? I feel good. Okay, let me watch. Oh. Let's see, the pressure's on. Down, toss, catch. Perfect. Hard work. And we can do that, That's again, easy. a minute here, a minute there throughout the day, you have success. Fab, I love that. That's easy. Yes. Here, towel bump. Boop. Good job. Should we move on to a third one? Let's do a third one. Okay. So how on earth are we going to do an upper body exercise with a towel? Like this. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> if, if I put pressure on it, otherwise this towel weighs nothing. Uh -huh. But let me show you what we're going to do. This one is, is tricky, but I bring the uh, towel behind my head, so my right arm is holding onto it and my left hand is holding it. Okay. Now, some people might not have range of movement to do this, which then I encourage them just to find this position, which is going to give a great, important stretch to, for them. Okay. But here, if you, if you have the range of movement to do this, what we can do from there is reach down and grab it nice and tight and go up and down, up oh, and down. Wow. I'm adding pressure with one hand as I'm trying to lift up with the other. 
See how that See, works? It looks like the other hand focuses the resistance. The other hand causes, okay, I Perfect. see what you mean. That's amazing. I never knew about that one. And then one minute on one side, one minute on the other side. So the right hand up. Let's start with the right hand. Okay. Bring it around the body. Mm -hmm. Grab on with the other side. Okay. And now simply. Ooh, I see what you mean. Push and pull. Ooh. Oh good. my God, who knew? This is a good tricep burn. Good tricep and a good bicep for the bottom I'm arm. I'm going to turn around. Oh, wow. See? Yep, and I try totally and increase the it. space. So rather than grabbing so close, let's Go increase away. that. Yeah, so we get and a little more range of movement. Okay. Well, you'll see that you have more Ooh. range at the top. Yes? Yeah, I see what you mean. Perfect. Wow, I never knew. Good. And in the morning, hey, you take a, a bow, uh, one more time. And in the morning, you take a bath or a shower, clean off your back here, right? Yeah, who knew? Do you alternate to the other arm too? One minute on this side, and let's alternate to the other side. That's a, that's a one, that burn, that'll burn in one minute. Do you feel yeah, it in the you, triceps? I feel it, I really do. End around, grab on. And keep it wide so that you have more. Range of movement with it, yep. You wow. wanna make it really interesting? Yeah. Let's combine exercise number two and just come down in the squat, seated squat and stay there. <laughs> now it's full body. Okay, <laughs> this is how I'm gonna dry off every morning. This is my workout for the day. I feel that. Feel good with that? Wow, that, I had no idea you could do so much with a towel. Well, you can do even more because now that our exercising is done, we can finish with a stretch. Okay. Shall, shall we finish? Yeah, let's do that. Our grand finale. Grand. All right, doctor. Time for some stretching, which is really important to do after your workout, yes? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let me show you. Coming down. I'm going to put the, the towel around my calf muscle and I'm simply going to draw in that knee towards my chest. Getting a stretch, feeling this in the glutes. Wow, that's a good stretch. It's a great stretch. And then now we make it even more impressive by taking it to uh, the, the Achilles tendon in here. And then from here, I'm going to expect you to take it to the side like so, grab on with both hands, switch hands to the left, mm -hmm. and I want to see that leg go right over here and behind your head, okay, That doctor? won't happen, <laughs> ever. Okay, so I'm going like this, yep. right? Yeah, and so we'll put that right to the shin there, and do you feel how that oh, aids in good. bringing that in towards the body? Mm -hmm. Feel nice? Yeah, because you actually, when I use my arms to do it like that, mm -hmm. I actually feel more tension back here. When I do this, it's like, it's almost like someone else is stretching me. See, that's brilliant because you just you just pointed out that then we bring up the head and we have all that neck tension, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we don't need that. So lay down the head and feel this uh, this long leg. Yep. Feel that? Yep. Good. And now let's bring the towel on the other side of the foot. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah that's right. I have really tight hamstrings. I always have. So this actually helps get that stretch without feeling like I'm putting pressure on my joints of my arm to pull totally. it. Totally. And yeah. now bend the knee even more and bring that knee in. Great. Like Do you that? feel how the towel aids yeah, with that? totally. And then can you turn it over to the side? Like Open this? it up. Yeah, and then you can hold on oh, yeah. with both. Yes, that's right. Like that. Yeah, and you okay. can control it like so. Oh my God, it makes such a huge difference. It's funny because at the gym, I have nev never thought about using a towel to help me with stretching. Yeah. Yeah, we just pull on whatever. That it looks great. great. I yeah. love it. And then, we, of course, we can do both sides. Yeah. And then show them how we really finish it off. Like that. I hope you enjoyed this towel workout with myself and Craig Ramsey, Bravo TV personality, fitness expert. I need a drink now. How about you? <laughs> let's go for wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've had our fitness. Now let's go Please have a fun. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions for us. That was good. High five. Yay. Yeah, that was good. Good job.